This is Storm Track 12. Well, if you had the chance to be outside today, I certainly hope you were able to take it and enjoy the beautiful day that we had here on the Saturday across the Twin Tiers. It's continuing here tonight as well. Still 62 degrees out there. And yes, finally, those winds have calmed down out of the northwest at about five miles an hour. There's those temperatures a little bit cooler in some of the usual cooler valleys. 59 Green and Lyle, 55 towards Afton, but still holding on to the 60s in Apple Lake and Conklin. And of course, at the airports here in Bingham. It's still going to cool off a little bit more tonight because we have all a lot of that dry air in place. You see those dew points again out there, mainly in the 50s, decently about 10 degrees lower than our temperatures and that drier air, along with the fact that winds they have calmed down, but they're still going to be steady in some spots anywhere from three to five miles an hour. All those factors combined will make it so that we aren't dealing with any patchy areas of fog by the time we get into tomorrow morning. You see some of the rainfall over towards the Midwest down into the Southeast, but of course not in our neck of the woods. High pressure certainly keeping us high and dry, very quiet here and hardly a cloud to be seen across the entire viewing area here tonight. Just a picture perfect early summer night here across the twin tiers. So we're not going to see any fog tonight. It is going to remain very, very quiet as we head into our Sunday. And yes, even more sun tomorrow. Hardly a cloud in the sky as we go into our Sunday. And yes, temperatures bumping up to close to 80 degrees. And we're going to start out with sun on Monday. But as the next storm system approaches from the Midwest, we'll start to see that cloud cover picking up in the afternoon. No rainfall, though, until we get into the overnight hours. That's when the showers and storms start to arrive. Monday night into Tuesday. Checking out future track for you here tonight. Well, there's not much to be seen and we love that as we go into our Sunday morning again. All of that sunshine as we head all the way through the last day of our weekend here and again, not much changing as we head into your Monday morning either. But notice then as we get towards lunchtime, especially by dinner time, we'll become overcast as we head through the back half of the first day of this coming week. There's those temperatures tonight. We're going to be down again, lower 50s, potentially a few upper 40s out there as well. But with all that sun around, we're warming up very nicely tomorrow back into the middle and upper 70s across the board, back down to near 50 degrees as we head towards your Monday morning and even warmer still, even despite the cloud cover as we go into your Monday, you see a few more 80s popping up on the map as we approach four o'clock there on the first day of the new week. 52 tonight, clear skies again, just picture perfect, very quiet tonight tonight, even more so tomorrow. Look at all of that sunshine. There's those temperatures climbing up into the upper 70s by three o'clock and that rainfall. Yes, arrives Monday night into Tuesday, but that's our highest chance of rain the rest of the week as temperatures hold steady near 80 degrees. You couldn't ask for a better first weekend of the summer than this. My goodness. No, no, especially not, <laughs> especially how we ended spring with all of that rain. I yeah, know. Flipping the switch to start the new season. Beautiful days ahead. Thank you so much, Damon. Coming up in sports, the Rumble Ponies look to finally get a win at home.